Bucko fever continues at TribLive.com. We talk about it. Guy Junker, Ken Laird, 67 and 44 guy with 51 games left. The P- Pittsburgh Pirates back to 23 games over 500, their high watermark of the season. Francisco Liriano continues to be the ace of the staff. The one thing you'd like that guy to do, Ken, is never let uh, a, a losing streak get too long. They lost two in a row. Not that that's that long, especially with what they had done beating the Cardinals the first four straight. But he immediately stops that. A.J. Burnett with his best performance of the year, certainly yesterday. And, and great pitching again gets them right back in the groove. And the bullpen should be fairly well rested to start this next series. Not needed at all yesterday. Not needed much on Saturday and today having a day off. So. I think the biggest benefit of the whole thing there is they get a little rest. Now, last year, on August 6th, they hit their high water mark, 16 games over. August 8th, people keep, keep – always And August 6th. 8th. Well, I, but I, well, I, I just like to sixth. push it as far as ever. The 6th, because that's Tuesday this week. That's so, when the Pirates get back to, to work, they will be 23. They'll be seven games better than they were last year. The schedule, as you set up, is fairly easy here in the next week or so, but it will get tougher in September, and arguably they have a much tougher schedule than the uh, St. Louis Cardinals do. So what are you seeing right now, particularly in the NL Central guy with uh, St. Louis winning two or three from the Reds? The one thing I look at, that 82-game win total, whether you put emphasis on that or not, they basically, all they need to win is 15 out of their last 51. They, they have basically clinched an end to the 20 years of consecutive yeah. losing. It, it would be almost unfathomable to not win 15. Well, no games. one would even, it wouldn't be on anyone's minds if it wasn't for the last two years. And uh, one thing that I've noticed a lot just with the fans in the last week, a week ago today, we're talking about what they need. They're coming off losing two out of three to the Marlins. they got to make a deal at the trade deadline. That Cardinals series seems to have really, I don't know if it did as much in the clubhouse. I'm sure, you know, it helped the psyche a little. I think they were more confident than the fans were. That We both talked about Jeff Locke last week saying, we're not a joke. This isn't going to happen again this year. Um, but now, all of a sudden, you know, on, uh, on Channel 4 last night, uh, I, all the – Tweet reaction that I got was I asked about you know how disappointed were you they made no moves at the trade deadline everyone's like oh the last couple of years they made trades and they fell apart so they're better to stand pat they got the best so I, I just in one week I think everyone looks at them a little bit differently yeah but but what what, what impresses me and I, I say this all the time you know it's not who you play, but when you play them in a season. In baseball, more than anything else, just because it's such a long season. Even the best teams will have a crappy couple weeks, and even the worst teams will get hot for a short period of time. The Cubs were very hot when the Pirates lost two out of three to them before the All-Star break at Wrigley Field. They got the Cardinals. The Cardinals were slumping before they came here. Credit Pirate pitching for continue to hold those bats down. Since the 13-0 romp over the Pirates to end that series, or was it 13 nothing? 13-zip. 13-zip. They've scored 44 runs in their last four games. So their bats have suddenly come alive at just the right time for the Pirates right after they leave. Maybe by the time they play again, and they still got to play nine more times, the Pirates, for some reason, have matched up pretty well with them. But uh, I still think, you know, I'm not convinced the Pirates are winning this division. I'm totally convinced they're breaking the losing streak, and I'm almost totally convinced they're, they're going to be a wild card team no matter what. But the last two years still has everybody kind of sure. like, we've seen this before. You know, and I think I think the next line to get past isn't the 82 wins. It's August 6th or August 8th. Get into the middle of August or late August, still be flirting with first place, still be playing good ball, and I think people will relax a little bit. And really buy in. And I think you'll see that excitement to break 82 really start to rise. And then playoffs. Yeah, if they just go 26 and 25 the rest of the way, they win 93 games. Mm. That's that's amazing. Well, we talked to, uh, as they were getting hot, moving up, or as they were getting toward the, the five-game series with the Cardinals about the Cardinals' tough schedule and the Pirates having the easier schedule and playing at home. 17 of the next 24 games for St. Louis are at Bush Stadium. They start a series against the Dodgers tonight. The Dodgers are on 14 in a row on the road. That's yeah. unbelievable. But uh, so, so they're going to be at home for basically the next three weeks. So it's uh, this is a good time for the Cardinals, if not to catch the Pirates, certainly to stay right there with them. And even though the Pirates are playing some teams that are struggling, like the Giants and the Padres, they got to go out west, and that never seems to be an easy deal. A true pennant race developing here in the dog days of August. Guy Junker, Ken Laird, TribLive.com.